Howdy folks, my name is Mason and welcome to the podcast. Today, me and my brother Austin are here. Say hi, Austin. Hello. Today we're gonna be trying out some Halloween candy so that you don't have to. We got two candies here today. I brought one and Austin has brought one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna taste test it and give you a rating. After we've tried both candies, we'll give you a recommendation whether it's even worth yeah. getting for Halloween. I chose the M&Ms because I really like peanut butter M&Ms. Um, and this one has peanut butter M&Ms in it. It's the, it's the M&Ms Mad Scientist mix. And it's got three different flavors. So it's like a random pick pretty much, which I think is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Then what'd you pick? You had the Skittles? Yep. So what I picked was Skittles Sour Shriekers. It's practically just normal sour Skittles, but some of them are randomly super sour. We'll probably die trying yeah. it. And do you like the sour Skittles? Because I don't, I can only eat a handful and then I have to stop, even the small packs. Yeah, I used to like them when I was like in middle school, but I haven't gotten any since. So yeah. I may have changed. But yeah, my I think mind. this is a good idea because it's like, sorry, sorry, it's rough. Before we get started, do you think uh, you could give the audience a little introduction about who you are, but more than just my brother? Oh, like, sure. Maybe how old you are or what's going on in your life right now? Yeah, I'm Austin. I'm attending K State currently, uh, doing an architecture degree, uh, specifically interior architecture, and hoping to get a master's for that. 21, living the life. It's been fun. Um, yeah. Yeah, sounds good. And on the flip side, I'll introduce myself. My name is Mason. I'm a 20 year old college sophomore attending community college, and I'm majoring in media communication and production. Hopefully, what I can do with my major is to make some banger movies down the line. Stuff like the next oh, yeah. Jurassic Park or Lord of the Rings, you know, those movies are super inspiring to me. Well, um, which one do you want to start with? So, yeah, we got the Skittle Shriekers and M&M's Mad Scientist. And I guess we're just, yeah, we're comparing what they're going to be like for Halloween. I'm excited for mm-hmm. I think it would probably be better if we went with the M&M's first, because I'm afraid that if we start with the Skittles, we may want to tempt fate and keep eating them until we get a super sour one. And then <laughs> we'll probably be like spent for the night. Okay. Well, I don't know if they're that bad, but yeah. Okay. I don't know. It's supposed to make us shriek. I'm going to do one first. So are you ready? I guess we'll uh, do it. I need to open the bag real quick. All right. Yeah, the M&M's, I'll fill in a little bit. Yeah. I opened it, and they're you, they're different sizes. If you know, like if you had M&M's before, you can tell which one's the peanut butter and which one's the peanut and which one's the chocolate. So you really just want to, it's just like a mix, basically. It's kind of like a Chex mix kind of thing. So you just want to grab a handful, it seems like. That would be pretty good. You want to try a handful? Yeah, I think everybody yeah. knows what they taste like individually, so. Yeah, yeah. Grab three we'll or four. Yeah, they mix together. All right. Ready to get and sink it. Wait, that's not us. Hang on. Sorry, it's copyright. <laughs> All right, let's down it. A lot of chocolate because there's chocolate in each one. And yeah, they, it's just yeah, it's just M and M's. Yeah, that's a good idea. I feel like I got one I of each. I definitely got a peanut know, one. Sure. Yeah, do you like the peanut ones? Mom does. Yeah, I, yeah. Our mom loves peanut M and M's, and she's kind of got me liking them too. I think they might be okay. my favorite. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. So, like, if there's any of you guys out there that are not a fan of one of these, it's like you might not want to buy them. And so, that's like interesting that they did that. Like, I don't know. Peanut is a popular flavor. Yeah. Well, they went strong on the peanut flavor in general, not just with the peanuts in this one, because there's also the peanut butter kind. Mm-hmm. So, it seems like the regular milk chocolate, the peanut ones, and the peanut butter, those seem like the classics to me. Like the ones that everybody likes those ones. Those usually are their favorites. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, these ones didn't have a fun size that I could see. Maybe there are is a fun size, but this is one that you probably put out at a party. Another thing about getting these, both me and Austin, when we were shopping for these candies, uh, we were able to find one candy at one store and the other candy only at another store. And we couldn't buy both at the same place. Dylan's okay. had only the M&M's for me and Walmart only had the Skittles. Now, for me, Walmart had both. So they it did. did uh, it was yeah. Dylan's only had the M and M's, but Walmart had both. Would you like to give it some a rating of one to ten? Um, I'll give it. Hmm. This is just on my palate. I think it's like a six or seven, a six. Only because like I definitely know that I'd buy peanut butter M and M's over it. 
for Halloween and if I was at a party, yeah, yeah, I think I'd still rather just have like peanut and peanut butter. So I'm I'm at six. I think I have to agree with you too. Give it a five or six. Uh, it's M and M's. It's it's good. I love all three kinds that are in here. But all that's added in this mix is that there's a bit of fun or mystery to it. But then again, that mystery is kind of ruined if you just grab a handful. Then it all tastes the same. It just tastes like peanut butter M and M's. I think I would just rather go for one of those flavors, just the original packaging. Okay. I would have done different flavors, like the pe- the pretzel, or um, oh, they should make a pumpkin spice. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> They there you go. M&M people, you drop them all. Yeah, I wonder if maybe that might have flown under the radar in the past. It seems like everyone's doing pumpkin spice lately, so I bet yeah. M&M would ju- definitely jump on that train. Yeah, just something with different flavors would be good. All right, so now there you have it. We both have a 6 rating out of 10 for the M&M's Mad Scientist Mix. Moving on to those Skittles Shriekers. These came in a different packaging from the M&M's. They came in a big bag full of little bags, the little snack size that you can give out on Halloween. So they're ready to hand out on Halloween night to trick-or-treaters, or you could just uh, pour them in a bowl for your family. Easy snack size. Or do what some people do and just leave the bowl out. Please take one. Every time someone does that, though, I'm afraid there'd be like an old man sitting in the chair in the corner oh. of the porch <laughs> <laughs> waiting for you to take yeah. too many. Okay, well, I'm opening up the Skittles, and Me too. yeah, I just think this is a great idea to hand out the Shriekers. It makes sense. It's like you're not expecting a sour. You gotta, I guess, you gotta put yourself in the mindset to not expect a sour though to get like the full experience. It's kind of like the the Doritos when they did that thing where they hit a spice. It's like there's a mixture and one of them was spicy. I don't remember when they did that. It's like you're expecting it, so then you then you think all of them are spicy, or at least I did, until you actually get a spicy one and it's pretty good. Yeah. Something I'm noticing right away that's different from these sour Skittles to the ones I had in middle school is they would have a sour powder on them, like almost like coated in sugar. I think it's called malic acid or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah. I think they can't do that on these because not all of them are sour, and so they have to hide it. Like, they did a better job than the M&M's. The M&M's is like you can tell which is which, but I dumped them on my hand, and either I didn't get a sour or surely they'd have a, one sour in each one. Are you going to down them all? <laughs> you, no. you can grab a handful and see if you get them out of down them all. <laughs> no, I think what we should do first is try the game that they want us to play. They okay. want us to try one and try our luck. They have multiple flavors in here. There's a shocking lime, ghoulish green apple, rattled raspberry, citrus scream, and spine tingling tangerine. It's, it's all it's all uh, citrus. I feel like all these flavors are naturally sour. Yeah. So that will add to it. Yeah. Not raspberry, though. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Yeah, that wasn't sour. It was good, though. It's like, it reminds me of the, the purple bag. I think that's called Wildberry. Oh, yeah, those are my favorite. Yeah, I didn't get any sour either. Okay, number two. I have nothing on my second. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's sour. Yep. I got one. Oh, it is, like, odd. Oh, they definitely put more in it. Did you get one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it took a second to get it really sour. I thought it was just... Yeah, it gets Ever. really sour. It's like sourer than I, sa- is that a word, sour? But yeah, it's like I was really into the fruity taste of it once before. And then it got, I think the sweet taste, and then it got sour. Yeah. It's like a good sour. Yeah, I don't, I didn't want to shriek. Did you want to shriek? <laughs> I just think these are really good complementing flavors. The sweet and the sour. I'm going to down the rest. I'll do it too. Did like five and I got a bunch of sweet ones. Here we go. I did the rest of the bag. I'd rate these probably like an eight out of ten. They're good to hand out for Halloween. Good idea. And like I do wonder if I'm biased with the peanut M and M's, but yeah, it's just like they're just some peanut butter and just a lot of chocolate. Whereas this is like two opposing flavors, sweet and sour. Yeah, I'd, I have to say I agree with you. I definitely think these oh, are a better like, idea. Yeah, I like seven more, so I'll see if I get another sour. But so far, I just had one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I just finished chewing the whole rest of the bag, 10 Skittles at once. And all together, like, it wasn't super sour, but I could definitely taste it. So there was a mix of sour and sweet. I think those flavors go really well together. It's exactly what you're expecting. They also made a little game out of this, too. And I think the sour is a bit higher stakes than the M&Ms have. So I think that makes it more fun for someone eating it. So I, I would give this a 9 out of 10. I think it was really good and really nice theming, too. I think it fits well with Halloween. Yeah, 
And I, I like them better than regular Skittles. Like, yeah, going back to them and ends, I just, I think I'd just get regular peanut butter, or regular milk chocolate. So. Which one would make you happier to see in your Halloween basket? Uh, yeah, in my Halloween basket or at a party, I'd be the Skittles for sure. Yep, same here. It's more fun. Yeah. Uh, I like the flavor better in snack size packs. Very good. Yeah, good job, Skittles. Very good job. Well, thanks for inviting me to the show, Mason. Yeah. Do you have any final thoughts before we leave? I'm out of the words. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm- thanks, everybody, for coming to listen to me in Austin. Yeah, thanks. I hope we helped you out on deciding what Halloween candy to buy for your house to give out to those pesky little trick-or-treaters who are always coming back for more. Yes, give out good candy. Don't get egged, you fools. Yeah, some some of those kids will be very resentful if you don't make good choices. Get the Skittles. They won't egg for the Skittles. <laughs> <laughs>